there have been a variety of continued calls towards um, seeking more centralized clearing of, of a marketplace. Uh, meanwhile, we have a decentralized technology that we're spending the day talking about. So I wanted to get some thoughts of, of, of the panelists here. Um, how do these two things square? Are they able to square? First of all, I don't think they're in, in conflict at, at all, uh, and there's in, in more than one different way. Um, I think there was a strong desire to get away from this maze of bilateral contracts that nobody could see, understand, or regulate. The Lehman situation was such that it took eight years to figure out how long um, to unwind, and the, the contracts and this maze of interrelationships is very difficult to see. Blockchain actually allows you to bring clarity to that. And so rather than having this invisible uh, maze of bilateral um, contracts and other arrangements that, um, that are impossible to untangle uh, without going through one by one and, and through the whole system, blockchain would actually give you the, the, the visibility to see uh, from a regulatory perspective as well as from a risk management perspective and other market participant perspective, um, you know, bring, bring that clarity. The other thing is that I don't actually think, um, you know, central clearing is, is necessarily um, an opposite of a blockchain approach. Um, at the end of the day, blockchain could be that paradigm changing um, solution where the world is completely different, or it could be a technology that enhances, you know, certain existing processes without completely turning them on, a, on its head.